Hi lovelies, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Akurede Adenike. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. If you are my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful, elegant flare design showing on the screen, which you can use to design your top or your dress. Now, these are the materials I'm using for the tutorial today. I'm using my satin fabric, which is of doll face. My trimmings, my crinoline, which is of 3 inches wide, and my interfacing, which is of medium width. I'm cutting my circles on paper first before cutting it on the fabric. I need two circles for this project today, which is the small one and the big one. I'm using 10 inches for the big one while using 6 inches for the small one. So I'm going to fold my paper into four places now. I'm cutting the big circle first. So I'm using, I'm making a um, full circle for my flare today, which is of 360 degree. So here is 10 inches now. And I'm going to fold it again into two for me to cut that 10 inches all around for my full circle. Now after, my, after folding my paper into four, as you can see, I'm going to measure 10 inches all around from this tip now. For me to get accurate measurement and to make my circle round very well. So after measuring like this, I'm going to connect it 10 inches. Now I'm done, I'm done measuring that 10 inches around from the tip here, and I've connected it. So I'm going to cut it out now. So I'm making radius here now. I'll just pick one inch for my radius since I'm not using, making use of the radius. So I don't want it to be too wide at the middle here because that is the place I'm, I'm going to turn my circle inside out. So here is the biggest, I mean, here is the big one of the circle now. So I'll go ahead to the second one. Here is the paper for the second one. And I said I'm making, I'm using ten, 6 inches for the small circle. So I'm going to measure that 6 inches. After folding my paper into 4, I'm going to measure 6 inches from this tip now. 6 inches all around and connect it. Now I've, connect, I've measured 6 inches all around from this tip and I've connected it as you can see. So I'm going to cut it out now. This is the second circle which is the small one. So like I did on the big one, I'm going to pick 1 inch for my radius. Since I'm not making use of radius for this tutorial. Just for me to turn my circle inside out after stitching. That is why I'm cutting just one inch for my opening here. Now, these are my circles after cutting them out, the big one and the small one. I'll go ahead now and place them on the fabric and cut them out. I'm cutting them on the interfacing too, after which I'll come and show you what's next. Now, I'm done cutting both flare on the fabric as you can see. So, I added half inch all around it. Here is the interfacing for the big one too. I cut exactly the same size with the pattern paper for my interfacing. So here is this big circle. I have two pieces of the fabric here. So this is the small circle. I have two pieces of the fabric as well. So here is the interfacing for the small circle, small flare. I cut exactly the same size with the paper for my interfacing. And I added half inch all around on the fabric. So I'm going to use this, this small one now to explain what I'm going to do on both flare. So let me put my paper aside. I'm picking one out of this circle now and got my interface into it as my lining. I'm doing the same thing on the big circle. Now I'm done ironing my interfacing. As you can see, here is it. 
this is the second circle of the small one this is the big one as you can see so i'll go ahead now and place it on each other like this let me start from the small circle here is it i'll place it on each other let the right side face each other and take my crinoline eye like this place it on the interface not on the fabric so and start stitching please do not drag your crinoline eye do not stretch it to give you the result you are looking towards to after stitching so before stitching your crinoline eye on it make sure you fold the you fold the starting point here fold it before placing it on the fabric and stitch now i'm done stitching as i explained as you can see so this is my crinoline eye so i'm going to trim the excess all around and notch it round before turning to the right side now i'm done trimming and notching bolt flare as you can see so i'm going to turn it turn bolt flare inside out through this opening as you can see so i'll just turn it inside out from this like this now i'm done turning both circles to the right side as you can see so i'll go ahead and top stitch on the tip of both circle now so i'll come and show you what's next after doing that now after top stitching this is what i have as you can see this is the small circle and this is the big circle so i'll go ahead now and use my needle and thread my hand needle and thread to put this center this center together with loose stitch as you can see i'll just use my loose stitch to put it up together the reason why i'm using black thread to stitch it is because i'm using black trimmings to cover this rough edge up so i'll just use loose stitch to put up this center together just like this so i'm doing the same thing on the second one of the circle i mean the small circle i'll just attach it like this start stitching it you can stitch it one by one before putting it together stitch it one after the other before you put it together so I'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial as you can see so I'm going to stitch it together just like this at the middle if you can see what I'm doing just make sure you do it together very well and make sure that stitching is not exceed the center because of the trim is if you if your stitching exceed the center here your trimmings may not cover it you can use brunch to cover it as well just make sure you tie it together very well at the center here and in the process i can tack my trimmings together too i mean to both circle two at the center here since i'm using it to cover the stitch and make sure you use matching thread to tack it if, if you are not using go just make sure you tack it very well as you can see it's very beautiful it's looking nice So after tacking like this, I'll take it to my mannequin and show you the finishing look of it. 
here is the finishing look of this elegant flare guys if my tutorial has been helpful to you please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any questions pertaining to cotton and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akuride adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akuride adenike please show some love by liking and following my page on facebook at akuride adenike sewing tutorial till i see you in my next video guys stay blessed stay safe bye bye